Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Let's figure out what's going on with this case. My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, a heavy, uh, something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up and I threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted him to stop fighting. And at that moment, there was a single gun shot and a scream. Now, I, I did some research. Don't be mad at me. But I found that... I'm gonna have to be showing this bitch a lot. Are you sure? You only heard one god shot. Yes, I'm sure of it. I heard one gun shot and a scream. And then everything faded. I was unconscious until the rescuers came. I see. But that doesn't make any sense. Look at the fire one more time. Plan. This plainly contradicts the, the witness testimony. You do enjoy dragging that out that file, don't you? Like, what was it? It was specifically page the victim's case? Victim's data. Fired twice. The murder weapon was fired twice. Yeah, I do love bringing it up because it seems to be revolved around this. I don't expect this evidence. Oh, wait. I don't accept this evidence unless you can find, tell us what page it's on. Which page uh, Dr. Dix Miles Edgeworth's testimony? Victim's data. Look at the victim's data in this file. It says it is quite plainly the murder weapon was fired twice. Miles Edgeworth only heard one gunshot, yet the murder weapon was fired twice. The first shot was an accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. So, who fired the remaining shot? Huh. Was there perhaps another shooter who fired the second shot? Your Honor, as I'm sure you're aware, this incident occurred 15 years ago. The evidence is dated. The pistol was fired, tw did fire twice, however, we do not know when the second shot was fired. It might have been fired the day before the incident. There's no proof that there was a second shot that had anything to do with the incident. What? Huh, I see, I see. Uh, you do have a point, Mr. Wright. The murder weapon was fired twice as you, as we uh, have heard. One of the shots were fired by the defendant uh, uh, by the defendant, a boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the other shot was fired by, uh, had something to do with the case? Yes. Your Honor, I think I will be able to show you proof. What? what? Impossible. No, now, well now, now, Mr. Van Kama, save your suspense for after you've seen the evidence. Very well, Mr. Wright, show us the proof. Do you have any evidence that the second firing of the pistol is related to the incident? Yes, I do. <laughs> the incident photo. Look at the photograph. The photograph of the scene of the crime. Wow, you can see that. So somebody shot through. That's why I think somebody shot in from somewhere else. Because I was like thinking like somebody shot through a window. But I'm like, no, it can't be that a window. But that's why. That's why I see a window. The photograph of the scene of the crime 15 years ago. I can see the victim lying on the floor, Gregory. I can see the victim lying on the floor. There, there is Gregory Edgeworth. This proves that the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. The photograph, the photo proves it. So let me get this straight. The photo proves two shots were fired where? Y Your Honor, please, uh, get, please get a clue. Show the judge where uh, there's a contradiction in the photo right here, isn't it? Is it that one? As should be obvious, the contradiction is here. I see a bullet hole in the door. Your Honor, Gregory Edgeworth was killed by one shot of a pistol, yet there is another bullet hole in the elevator door. We also know that the murder weapon was fired twice. Thus... Somebody other than Edgeworth fired the second sec sh uh, second shot. There you go. Imagine if like Phoenix was stuttering as he as he was doing his objections. I think I've mentioned that before, but it's most beautiful. Uh, order, order, Mr. Wright. What are you driving at? 
It's simple, Your Honor. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went into Gregory Edgeworth's heart, the other hits the elevator door. Remember that the defendant lost consciousness after the shot was first he first after the shot he fired rang out. In conclusion, he must agree we must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. But Mr. Wright, what who could that someone else be? The murderer, of course. I knew I should have stopped stepped in before your wild fantasies get out of hand. Mr. Wright, look once more at the D-06 incident case. Look closely. Try the case summary page. The case summary. Uh, that's on page one. Look at what's written there. Not a single clue was found on the scene. If that pistol indeed had been fired twice, the other bullet would have been discovered at the scene. He does have a point. The second bullet has never been found. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. The bullet uh, that claimed go Edgeworth, uh, January Edgeworth's life was the one fired by his own son. That is the truth of this matter. The whole truth. And it is undoubtedly something else that had that made the bullet hole in the door. Hmm. Order! I will have order! Mr. Wright has proven one of the th one thing to us quite clearly. That the murder weapon was fired twice at, at the time of the incident. However, as Mr. Von Karma says, the second bullet fired was not found. It is highly likely that the police merely overlooked this second bullet. So, all we have is the single bullet fired. I'm afraid... I have to discount the defensive's claim. Tish, tish, tish. I praise the judge for his wisdom in this matter. Gah. How did he know? How did this happen? I don't believe the second bullet... I don't believe that the second bullet doesn't exist. What is wrong? Have I been wrong about this, inc this whole incident? What are you doing, Nick? Why are you raising an objection? I'm sorry, ma'am. What? I, it looks like, uh, I, like, I was wrong. Nick, if the second bullet wasn't there, then my conjectures are for nothing. No, but you said you did, you'd do it, Nick. You said you'd do it, Nick. You said you get to Edgeworth's declared, you get Edgeworth declared innocent. I'm sorry. It's just, when I saw the photograph, I thought that... Two shots have been fired. I was so certain of it. I thought it won. I thought there was another person, uh, someone else who fired the second, the killing shot. But now, I was wrong to think that uh, it could be that simple. This case has been unsolved for 14 years, 15 years. Nick. Well, it seems that we have finally cleared up this incident. Only one bullet has been found on the scene of the crime. That was sh shot, uh, that was fired by Miles Edgeworth, precisely. I would like to ask one uh, thing of Miles Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to this trial so far? Yes, your honor. Do you have any objection? No, no I do not. So you have killed your father, though it was not your intention. Yes, I did. Oh no! He's confessing! Very well. The statute of limitations on the murder of Gregory Edgeworth runs out today. Therefore, I will pronounce the verdict of the defendant today. Right here. Right now. Indeed. Does anyone have any objections? I've been here before. It's just like my first day in court. There's so many things I know I should be saying, but my mind's gone blank. I can't find the words. Mr. Wright, I have an objection. Your Honor, I, I object. Tish, tish, tish. Mr. Wright, on what grounds do you object? Hmm? Oof. Nick, I, I don't know. This case is perfect. Oh no. Yeah, it must exist. 
The second bullet. Gah. Oh, what? What did you say? No, no, nothing. Second bullet must exist. But where? Someone took it. It seems waiting is not going to pronounce us any answers from Mr. Wright. Wait, Your Honor. Hmm? I, uh... The second bullet. It, uh, it exists. Wh what? What? Uh, we've uh, just heard proof that it doesn't exist. I, I realize that, Your Honor. I'm really grasping here. It it's just someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what happened. But, but who? The, the murderer. The murderer? Then tell us just who is the murderer. I, I'm still thinking about that one. Hmm. So the criminal took the second bullet. Why would he? Huh. First of all, how would he have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wright. Was there some pressing need uh, for the murderer to search for the bullet? Uh, the murderer... The murderer had to find it, because otherwise they would match the ballistic markings. Of course, they, there was a need. Um, that's why he took it. Bah, that's... Po what possible reason could he have had it? Well, the reason the murderer took the bullet away from the scene is the bullet was proof. Or, well, maybe he thought that the bullet would be used as proof. Proof? It was a suspicious. It was a special bullet, so he took it uh, with himself. With him. If that is the case, then he would have taken the bullet from inside Gregory as well. Huh? Why would he only take one of the shots fired? All oh, right, Mr. Wright. You have really. Wait. Oh, come on. I'm gonna let that one slide, because I didn't save. Oh, this isn't going well. Well, did okay, okay, okay. He, the murderer didn't need it. Why would the murderer have spent all that time looking for a stray bullet? I haven't had a clue. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Um, uh... Bah, the murderer had no reason to take that bullet. You don't want to admit it, but it's true. Ugh. He, he had to take it. Had to take it? Oh my god, Maya, stop scaring me. What is this goddamn FNAF? Um, the murderer? What does that mean? You're thinking too normal. Think crazy. Why, uh, don't think why the bullet was taken. Think why the bullet had to be taken. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have no idea what I'm gooing. Um, well, the murderer had an intention on taking the bullet from the scene of the crime, but uh, the murderer had to take the bullet. Had to? Mr. Wright? What do you mean? Well, for instance, for instance what? Uh, for instance what? Uh, maybe the bullet, uh, hit the murderer. The bullet hit the murderer? Just saying, for instance. I mean, if it hit you, you would have to take it, uh, with you, wouldn't you? It's not like you could perform surgery right there, you know? Genius feed it. No, wait a second. I was just talking off the top of my head. Yeah, I I don't even know what I choose. Uh, what the fuck, dude? Um, what? Ha, what if that's really what happened? Let me get this straight. So, at the time of the murder, the murderer himself was shot, and left the second bullet still inside, thus leaving only one bullet at the scene of the crime. <gasps> he was gazed with the bullet, and it had his blood on it. And so he had to get rid of it. Oh my god. Uh, yes. I guess that's how it would work. Yes. But there's a problem with that. The other two people rescued from that elevator, Miles Edgeworth and Yanni Yogi, were both unharmed. So what would that mean? The murderer came, um, from outside. Yes. That's what I was thinking. The two men fight inside the elevator. Trying to stop them, the boy picks up the pistol at his feet and throws it. The pistol discharges and the bullet 
the bullet goes through the elevator door and hits the murderer outside. The boy loses consciousness. And then the murderer opens the elevator door and sees the men inside. Hmm. Mr. Wright, are you truly the most unpredictable? You are truly the most unpredictable defense attorney I've ever seen. Now, really, I, I was not expecting to pick up a cold case. Um, I can tell you're grasping, yet I cannot deny the possibility of what you say. What are you saying? Deny it! Deny it! No one involved with the incident was awarded. There was no murderer. Wait, what? Huh? No one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right. I can't think of it anymore. Hey, Nick. Huh? I just thought of something really crazy, like hella crazy. Crazy. Remember what Grossberg uh, said yesterday? Gregory Edgeworth dealt a, fight, dealt a blow uh, that was too perfect, wait, to his perfect trial record. Wow. It must have been quite a shock for Brian Kramer. He took a vacation for several months. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! He took a vacation, not because, uh, well, to get away from the crime, not just that, but because he had a wound! An unusual event for a man, but it has been the first time in, and last vacation he has taken from his prosecuting, in his years of prosecuting. What if Fat Karma did it to take a vacation, wait, didn't take a vacation because of shock, but took it because he was injured? Which would mean, it could mean one thing. He was the murderer of the DL6 incident. He was the man who shot Gregory Edgeworth. It was Von Karma. Oh man. Oh, this is juicy. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You seem dazed. Um, no, 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 your honor. Well, you have ind indicated the possibility that the murderer came from the outside. Can you give us the name of the suspect? Oh, yeah. I should come out and say it now. Oh, say it now. Your Honor, there is a suspect. One lone suspect. Well, it is certainly interesting news. Very well, Mr. Wright. Who is a suspect? B -b 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 Ugh, my hands are shaking. Well, by what? Von Karma. Von Karma? Ooh. You mean the Von Karma? The prosecutor sitting right there? Bah. You, you don't object? <laughs> I see no need of why, Anna. This ridiculous outburst with my objection. Because you took the vacation for several months, starting the day after the incident. Yet you pride yourself with the, on a perfect record. Why would you take such a long vacation without any reason? So you're claiming that I took a vacation to heal my injury from the incident. Fascinating. Prove it. I would need, um, I, I would have needed surgery. No? Uh, where did you go under, where did I go under the knife at, Mr. Wright? Bring the doctor that operated on me. Uh, have them testify. Ugh. Nick, let's find out who the, his doctor is. It's no use. E Edgeworth. I know Von Kama perhaps too well. He's perfect. He wouldn't leave clues. He probably uh, didn't undergo surgery. That would leave a doctor as a witness. Grr, nobody that perfect. So, so what, Nick? Did Von Karma pull the bullet out of himself? That's insane! No, he couldn't have. He could he couldn't just pull bullets out of himself. Wait. What does that mean? That bullet had to be somewhere. But where? <laughs> it's still in him! Oh no! Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove evidence that um I was shot? Oh my god, we're gonna have to find this out in the next episode. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Oh my gosh. What is going to happen? Leave a comment down below. Um, also leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Be safe, be sexy. Bye!